Good morning, Scorpio. This message is for you. This is a general reading. So if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on the situation. Okay, Scorpio. Now, as I was meditating on your energy, this card wanted to just flip out first thing. It's like, okay, let's get on with this reading. Let's, let's move. And we have sacred reverence. So, Scorpio, it seems like you are very active at the moment. I feel like you are discovering new things. You are opening new doors. This may be in love. This may be somewhere else in your life. But I feel like the doors are opening for you. They're being unlocked. What else do we have for Scorpio? A powerful move. Yeah, this may be... Uh, the doors are being unlocked to a new home. You may be physically moving at the moment, Scorpio. Um, you have at the bottom perfect harmony. So, yeah, I, I feel like you are making powerful moves. Okay, what do we got going on, Scorpio? Okay. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. Okay, you may be doing a lot of healing at this, at this time of working on yourself. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Yes, Scorpio. You are a beautiful soul. You have that beauty around you. And I feel like you are... You're making some powerful moves now, Scorpio. I'm kind of interested to see what's going to come up. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups. So you may be going to a lot of celebrations, a lot of get-togethers. This may be just people around you coming in to provide you with support. But I feel like there's going to be people around you. Um, of course, with Thanksgiving and Christmas coming around, of course, you're going to probably go through celebrations or gatherings. But... You know, to be totally honest, I haven't got that card in the rest of the readings, so I don't know. I feel like it's pretty significant for you. Maybe at one of these get-togethers, you're going to meet your King of Cups. Hmm. It's a possibility. What else we got going on? The Six of Wands. Yeah, so a lot of people have their eyes on you, Scorpio. You are being recognized. You also have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Justice card. Oh, too many wanted to come out. You know what? I'm going to take them. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You have, I'm going to take them as they come out. You have the Five of Swords. You have the King of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Two of Swords. Okay, Spirits. One more card. Oh, well, two more cards. All right. Okay, and these two wanted to pop out too. You just have messages popping out left and right, Scorpio. So this message really wanted to find you. At the bottom, you have the hangman. So I feel like you are, you're maybe sacrificing a lot um, to a situation, Scorpio. Um, you may be trying to find a different perspective about your situation. Um, but I feel like you are really deep in thought. And I feel like you are, you're not really at a standstill, but you're taking your time in the situation. I feel like 
with Scorpio, I'm going to move when I move. That's basically how I'm feeling. Um, you're just setting your ways. You're, you know, you'll do things at your pace and that's that. But I feel like you are being balanced. So I feel like with the Justice card, you know, whatever you put out is whatever you're going to get back. So if you put out the good things, that good karma is going to come back to you. If you put out the bad things, of course, that bad karma is going to come back to you too. So I'm feeling like whatever is coming is something that you deserve to be coming back to you. So what kind of things have you done in the past, Scorpio? That will be what is coming back. But I do feel like it's good things because you have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like maybe you're single at the moment, but I feel like you're very independent. You're very, you're working very hard. I feel like you are, you're maybe living a little bit more than what you're making. Um, you're living above your means a little bit. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you like the extravagant things. I feel like you are a very luxurious person, if that makes sense. Okay, in the second row, we have the Five of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like, you know, during this time, with get-togethers, you know, you're going to have a little bit of conflict. Like, there may be even arguments during this situation. Because you can't get a whole lot of people together without having those large debates or large discussions, discussions that turn into something different. But I feel like these are going to be minor conflicts. I feel like you are um, very bold and practical in this situation so if it's you in the middle of one of these conflicts I feel like you're going to take control of the situation I feel like you have the upper hand if that makes sense now you also have the ace of cups so new love coming in and that's why we were seeing the king of cups over here you are having someone come into your life who is very practical very supportive um, and it may be more than one it may be that you have the option of more than one with this king of cups and king of pentacles there may be a choice that you need to make Scorpio there may be a choice that you may be at a crossroads do I choose this one or do I choose this one so I feel like you're weighing your options as far as that goes. But whatever you decide, I feel like your happiness is moving at a swift energy. I feel like uh, you are receiving some kind of communication, some kind of action that is going to bring you so much joy and happiness in your life. I feel like you are just coming into this new year with like a new perspective on just life itself okay Scorpio let's get a little bit of advice for you what advice do we have for Scorpio please what advice do we have for Scorpio We have the Nine of Cups. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, all of your wishes being fulfilled. <clears throat> this is happiness and contentment. And at, at the moment, I'm kind of speechless. I'm kind of in awe. You have the Justice card again. So definitely Justice coming in. This is good karma. This is the universe letting you know I mean what I say. This is coming towards you. This is coming to you. Um, the work that you did, the good deeds that you did are coming back around. This is your good karma coming back. You have the Justice card twice here. And you have the King of Swords. Excuse me, the Ace of Swords. You have the Ace of Swords here. So definitely.
definitely, definitely with the Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups, you definitely have a new beginning coming around. This is going to be something that's going to bring you a lot of um, new ideas, a lot of new conflict. This may also be you gaining the mental clarity that you need for the situation. Um, I also feel like you're having a lot of aha moments like yeah I should have been I should have went about this this way and that would have been a better situation at the bottom you have the knight of cups so I feel like this king of cups or this knight uh, or this king of pentacles they're going to be coming in with some kind of offer they're going to be taking action um, to make some kind of offer to you um, whatever it is, I feel like it's something that's going to bring you a lot of joy. But something is coming towards you that is that's going to come in pretty fast. So it may be within the next week, next two weeks. Very interesting, Scorpio. One more card. I feel like taking one more card. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this may be something about your finances. This may be something about um, something that's going to bring in more money. Maybe this person that's coming into your life is more well off. Maybe it's going to bring an extra support into your life that maybe you didn't have before. Because you also have the Ten of Cups again on the bottom. So that spirit and your guides letting you know I mean what I say you the happiness true happiness is coming forward for you very beautiful Scorpio let's get a message from the universe to close out this reading okay I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself I am love and miracles are natural. Beautiful. Okay. My outer experience are a reflection of my internal condition. Yeah, so if you feel happy on the inside, you're going to exude all that happiness on the outside. So... I feel like when this Ten of Cups moment comes for you, I feel like it's going to just glow from within you. You know, you're going to put all that energy out into the world. That may be why you have the Justice card twice, because this total happiness is going to um, make you feel just excited, exasperated about you know life itself the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need okay all right thank you universe okay now if this reading resonates with you please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and um Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity, Scorpio. Have a wonderful holiday season. And many blessings to you. Love and light.